Pasa to the pack. It is pack here, and I have even more news, information, and stuff I want to show you guys for NBA 2K21. As you already know, the gameplay trailer came out today for NBA 2K21 on the next generation, and I wanted to go over all the face scans in the game, or at least in the trailer that they showed us, and I want to compare them to the current generation and go one by one and see how crazy these graphics have really changed. But before this video starts, though, be an OG, join the pack, and subscribe. Let's get to 300,000 subscribers, baby. All right, so first things first, the one I've talked about plenty of times already, it is Zion Williamson. That's There's a reason why I have him first in this list. I mean, I feel like I've covered him so many times in this channel, but if you've never seen my videos about him and the graphics comparison, here is straight up gameplay of Zion Williamson in actual NBA 2K21 lighting, not that fake commercial. It wasn't fake, it was real gameplay, but the lighting was completely different, so. Obviously, it was gonna look a lot better in like a, a gym with shadows and pure like light bulbs shining on his face. Here we see him in an actual NBA court. And even though the sweat is the biggest part about this like graphic change, you can obviously tell there's some things here and there that definitely make it Zion Williamson look a little more realistic. Obviously, the eyes seem a lot more realistic looking right up at the player. You can see that the skin color is a little more accurate. The ears are a lot more detailed. The way that the sweat, every single drop of sweat has ray tracing reflection on it is an absolutely ridiculous. The facial hair is a little more accurate, a little more darker, making it feel like a lot more real life. But this is, in my opinion, the least impressive one, just because it's almost the same face scan, and that's why I have this one at the first one. Just wanted to show you guys this one off rip, but this one's probably the least impressive. The next one I want to show you guys is Marquise Chris on the Warriors, who is apparently, according to the game, the starter on the Warriors, even though I'm assuming they're going to draft a center in their draft because they have like the sec second pick in the draft, so they're probably going to draft a center. But anyways, that's not the point. Obviously, this one looks a lot, lot better. First, the nose. Uh, the nose is a lot more defined in this. The way the light shines off of the nose is obviously a lot more realistic. Plus, the beard is a lot longer in this shot on the right, which is obviously a made to get 21. But for the most part, this is another one that I didn't think was that impressive. It was just okay. So that's why I have this one at number two. But at number three, we start getting into the real interesting ones. Kevon Looney. So Kevon Looney is another player on the Warriors that is on the bench at the center. And this one's basically the most telling, even though this is just a bench player that they're not focusing so much on, you can just clearly tell, it's like night and day on left and right. The, the left is so much more basic compared to the right. I mean, it does look like Kevon Lee on the left, but on the right, just th the way that it looks, the details on his face, underneath the eyes, the nose definition, the way the mouth sticks out oh, where the mouth is, the beard is a lot more realistic. It just looks so much better. Up next is Boban. This one is extremely impressive to me. You know, it's weird because Boban on the left, it clearly looks like a video game. And on the right, even though it still does look like a video game, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The, the way that the hair is on his face, the way the ears were detailed so much, the way that the facial hair is, the noses, and the way that everything is shining off of him, and the eyes is just so much more convincing, and the brow as well is just so much more convincing on this one than most of like the ones we've seen today. It's just, this one's crazy how detailed it is. Up next is Tim Hardaway Jr. I like this one. For the most part, I do. This is actually the first one and the only one I think they didn't touch the face scan at all. I do think this is the exact same face scan as last year. And yet, you can see how much everything else matters to realism here. Yes, maybe he has the same body scan. Yes, maybe he has the same face scan. But they corrected the colors. Now you can see that the skin color is a lot more realistic. Now you see that the hair, the hair on the beard is a lot more realistic and the hair on top of his head. The way it's shining off of his forehead, the way he moves, the way the sweat is being reflected off light. All these little things is beautiful. Up next is so impressive, Steve Kerr. I've always said the coaches in NBA 2K21, or I guess in the current generation, were terrible. They, they don't look correct. They don't look realistic at all. And for the first time, a coach looks really realistic. I'd even argue that Steve Kerr looks more realistic than maybe any of the players that we're going to talk about today. He looks so crazy good. Maybe it's the hair, obviously the lighting that I keep talking about. You can see the details of the aging in his face. It, it just, I mean, imagine Coach Pop and how they're going to make him look. Imagine all these coaches that look terrible like Brad Stevens. They're going to make them look a lot more realistic. And I, hopefully they even have legendary coaches like Phil Jackson and have him as realistic as this. That would be so sick. And even as the immersion. Hell, even the shirt on his, on his suit looks really realistic. It's crazy. Up next, we have Damian Lillard, who was a cover athlete for the current generation. 
this one's pretty good. I, I like the facial expression that he's showing and how bland the other one is. Again, when it comes to the color of the skin, or I guess the color of everything, it's a lot more detailed. And a little detail I've noticed with this one is the shadow reflecting off of the jersey onto the skin. That's something that we didn't have in last generation. And this generation, you can clearly see the shadow is on underneath the jersey because that's how shadows work. And it just adds a little more realism, a little, little slight detail that it just immerses us even more into this. The hairline is not completely even, but maybe that's just how Damian Lillard has it. But the beard is a lot longer, or at least a little bit longer. The teeth are a lot detailed. I've already talked about this one a lot, so I don't want to go over this one too much, but just the neck and everything is very detailed in this one. Clay Thompson is one of the most impressive ones. First of all, obviously they have a brand new face scan for him. The eyes are completely different, a lot more animated, I swear. The, the eyes are a, and the nose, and then just the reflection of the forehead, obviously, have made these so convincing. Also, we know that Clay Thompson has longer hair now, and they updated that as well, which is nice to see. I love to see that. But, dude, I mean, I'd even argue that it, it looks almost like real life on the right. It is so wild how crazy and realistic it has been looking so far. It really does look just like Clay Thompson. It's crazy. And this one's pretty obvious what it is. It's the skin color. It's the way that the skin color changes based off of the light. I mean, it looks like there's not even light on the current generation, but on the next generation, it is just perfect. It is so perfect. It's so crazy. Even the detail on the hair is so much better. And finally, Steph Curry. This is the one that's been blowing everybody away. This is the one that people have even com been comparing to real life pictures to Steph Curry and how crazy it looks. I mean, wow. And I I'm glad that I was able to get a photo of him with his mouth guard out because it really does show you. Plus, you can see the details on the jersey a lot more now. You can see that the light reflecting off of the mouth guard. It really is just night and day, completely different. I always thought there was, they always did Curry a little wrong in 2K. I feel like they could never get him right. And this is the first time I was like, whoa, that looks almost just like Steph Curry. It is unbelievable how that looks. Really, really does. It, it's just amazing how the graphics have been looking. Now we're caring about, okay, the graphics are great. What about the gameplay? But so far, so good. I mean, what an introduction to the next generation. This is so so good but i want to know what you guys think which player looks the best compared to last generation leave it in the comments below and if you like this channel give it a sub and i'll see you guys next time if you want all the latest news of nba 2k and also nba in general you should follow me on my twitter account at pack hoops yt not only that i do giveaways all the time when it comes to vc games and also even consoles so check it out follow me and see you there